It's gonna be the last part to make your mask. Now my buddy Scooter there taught me something this thing we call electricity. And what you're gonna need to do is go find yourself some of these LEDs. You can go out and find yourself a steam pump, probably rip them off of that. If not, you can probably order them off the Econet. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna use the siren iron to wire yourself some wires. But you ain't got a siren iron, you can use a hot glue gun. And but in addition to that, you're gonna need some wires. You're gonna see little, these little batteries and on and off switch. You're gonna need some of these, some of these little doodads that are gonna be on the description. Oh, can't forget your mask. Maybe some shrink wrap. If you ain't got no shrink wrap, you can use electrical tape. And that's about it. So just a quick thing about safety, we use a lot of tools, epoxies, paint, and I wanna make sure you read all the safety instructions on everything, because you may have a allergic reaction, you may wanna use gloves. I use a tool without a handle, you don't wanna do that. Just wanna make sure you're safe and you perform all these tutorials at your own risk, you follow them at your own risk, I'm just here to inform you, and just make sure you have fun. I'm not sure if I could talk like Scooter, or I should talk in my normal voice, you know? Yeah. I guess I'm gonna talk in my normal voice. I'm not sure. Talking like Scooter Day would be annoying the whole time. But, uh, uh, so first thing we're gonna do is get this on off switch and we're gonna bend these. Well, first of all, I'm gonna explain to you where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put mine right in here with this battery thing. The link will be in the description, like I said. I'm gonna put my stuff right there because my face fits in here and it doesn't touch right there. It may not work right there for you. So you may have to place it around the best spots I know are up here, here, in these two corners, and, well, right there where I'm gonna put them. Maybe over here on the sides. Those may be good spots to put it. But you're gonna wanna put these where, when you put it on your face, you're not gonna touch it. You, you can't really figure that out. You can just get some duct tape, place these two parts in there, lay down the duct tape, put it on the mask, see if they touch your face. So, what we're gonna do now, we take this on off switch, and I'm gonna bend these, these little tabs here, the pins, that they face one direction. So, let me straighten this out so you can see. Right here, what I'm gonna do is just pull this, I'm gonna bend it, I'm gonna bend it down. I'm gonna start, a, this right here is gonna be like a, a, a 45 degree angle. You can see it right there. The bend is gonna be a 45 degree angle, so that when it's bent, it comes this way. They point this way. So I'm gonna bend this one too. Pretty proud to re-angle. So it'll bend. Boom. That's how you want it to look. Well, that's, you don't have to do it this way, but this is how I'm gonna do it. All right, you're gonna get your, get your paper clip, and what you're gonna do is get something to cut it. I'm gonna cut this right here on the big one. I'm gonna bend it a little bit. I'm gonna cut it right here. And I'm gonna take this big part, and this big part's gonna go in here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and push these in here. Depending on the size of your paper clip, you have to bend it some more. Like I might have to. And then push it into these two holes. But don't push it in all the way. You wanna leave some out because this is what's gonna bend over onto the battery. Boom, like that. You're gonna need some in the bottom. You don't have to have a lot. I have a little tiny piece picking out. I may actually cut that. Boom, so we have one. And that's how you need that part. And take the other part of your paper clip and see how it's like this. I'm gonna start it off like that. And I'm gonna bend this out of the way a little bit where it's like that and then I'm gonna try and bend these two pieces so that they will match and go into these two holes so I'm just gonna slowly start bending these 
and straighten them out until I got it. Still not there. One more time. So I'm gonna grab it here, pull it in, and then hold it here like this, pull it out. Boom. And then I think I'm good now. Yep, went right in. So here we go. Now that we have our on off switch, it's gonna go right there. And our positive right here. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to bend this over onto the side towards this back, like that. And then these two, so I only need one, but I'm going to leave them both in there. Actually, I'm going to cut one short and then bend it over so I can maintain it there so that it'll help it maintain and stay attached. And then I'm gonna bend this one other one over. About right there. So it's like that. Alrighty. So you got your on off switch and you've got this. So I'm gonna first by connecting these two. And so I'm gonna get some wire. I'm gonna use a hot glue gun. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna use a hot glue gun. Let's wait for it to heat up. All right, so the hot glue gun's heated up there, see? What we're gonna do now we're just going to hot glue those together. Let's take this little piece of wire, pull a tip off, pull a tip off, boom. Now for this side over here, I'm going to use the longer side. And I'm going to just twist this wire around here. I'm going to hold the wire with one thumb, and then I'm going to grab this other side and just keep winding it around. Just like that. I hope it auto focus. And then I'm gonna put some hot glue on there. Oh yeah. Be careful not to burn yourself. And there you go. Now my solder iron is real noisy. I'm gonna do a voiceover. Put some flux on the end of the wire. Now I'm going to use voice editing software to edit out the noise of my soldering iron. All right, I got some soldering on my tip, cleaned it, put some, I put some solder paste on here so it'll stick better. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some soldering paste on this side too. All right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get some solder on here. Boop, just like that, just tapped it. I'm gonna get some more solder. All right, now I'm gonna put some solder on this side. I got the paste, you just slide it on there just like that. Mm-hmm, just like that. You got some solder on there now. And mm -hmm. you go over here, you see you got these two solder points. All you gotta do is put them on one another, touch that with your solder iron. Yeah, and they'll stick together because they already got solder on them. Oh, that was so easy. Look, it's connected, yeah. All right, there you go, you got a button. What you gonna do, you got a button. What you gonna do, you got a button. You got a button, baby, you got a button. What you gonna do, you got a button. All right now, talking to myself, it's getting less weird. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All righty now. So, we got this done. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put some wires on here. So, I'm gonna get a nice long piece of red. Yeah, gotta get some nice piece of red. And, boop. This wire is real tiny. I can just rip it with my hands. You might have to use cutters with your wire. 
and pull one side off just like that. Boop. Just pull one side off just like that. Now I'm gonna do the other side of the button with some a hot glue gun so you know how to do it. Alrighty now. So there we go. We got a nice long piece. The hot glue gun needs a lot of wire. So right here. I'm just gonna put that on there and gonna wrap this wire around here any way I can. You wanna get it on there and you want it to stay on there. Just like that. It's on there pretty good. And I'm gonna get this hot glue going. Now it's real hot now, so I'm gonna use my hands, but let's put it on there. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use these pliers. And I'm gonna mold it on there so I make sure it's tight. It's, it's nice and cool now, I can touch it. Oh yeah. You know what, I'm gonna put some more hot glue on. And there we go. I got hot glue gun on my wire. I'm gonna put the hot glue gun over here. Okay now, so now I'm gonna get some the other color wire. Now you don't have to use other color wires, I just do it because it helps it. You, you can see what's going on. One's positive, this is negative. I'm just gonna get a nice long piece of black wire too. And this side I'm gonna solder. I'm gonna solder to the paper clip. So there we go, I got, I don't need that much for the solder. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this off. Boom, just like that. Alrighty now, so we got my solder and iron. Now I'm gonna use some shrink wrap for this piece here. So I can show you what the, what the shrink wrap looks like. This got me a nice piece of shrink wrap. This one's this one's kind of long. I'm gonna have a shorter piece. I'm sorry I can't help stop talking like this. I just kind of got used to it talking like this for so long. There we go. I'm gonna use this piece. So first I'm gonna slide it on because. Once you solder your wires, depending on if it's a full connection or not, you won't be able to put it on there. It's a good habit to, to uh, get. So, I'm going to put some solder paste on here. Solder paste isn't required, it just helps. Get some solder. Now, just put some solder on. Nope, we got solder on there. Now, we're going to put some solder paste on this paper clip. Now, if your paper clip's got a wax coating on them, that won't work. You gotta have all the metal. And then I'm gonna put some solder on this paper clip. There we go. I'm gonna grab my black wire. And then place this and hold this on there. It's gotta be next to each other. And then I'm gonna solder it. And then hold it still until it dries. Oop, let me cool it down. And then bam, look, it's done. Alrighty there. We got this part done. And then the shrink wrap, you can just slide it on down. Alrighty. Now you're gonna need something hot, hot to heat that up. Now if I didn't say this before, I'm gonna use a lighter. If I could ever find my lighter, I found my lighter. So I'm gonna get this heat flame right here. I'm gonna just Quick, just little, just little dips. You don't want to hold it on there too long. There we go. That part's done. And see, I'm doing my project half and half, half soldering iron, half glue gun. So whoever's following this tutorial can do it both ways, or one of the two. Make it easy for everybody as best I can. Alrighty, so this part now needs to go in the helmet. So I'm gonna go over here, put it in here like that. I'm trying to fit it best I can. Now, actually, this piece right here, just try and go ahead and get it in here best you can. This part here with this metal, I might bend this a little bit. So I'm gonna try and glue mine in just like that. 
I'm gonna get the hot glue gun and I'm gonna put some glue down. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. Put my button right here. Try to push them a little bit. And here we go. Now I'm gonna go fill around the inside with some more hot glue gun. Make sure you don't get your own off switch or it won't work. Cause it needs to go up and down. Don't do no hot glue gun. You're on off switch. There you go. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right, now I'm gonna get myself a nice place of black wire. I'm gonna cut it in two so I can get a nice long two pieces. We're gonna have one for each LED. I'm gonna go ahead and strip off the ends. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim the end of the wires a nice little short length. Because we're going to use a soldering iron to hook up the negative. I'm going to start by putting flux on all the wire in. Now I'm going to take the two wires for the LEDs and I'm going to twist the tips together. I'm gonna go ahead and some, add some solder to both ends of the wire and we'll solder them together. All right, now don't forget to get yourself in that little sweet wrap. All right, now, so a good way I like to solder wires together is I take my, my pointer finger, my middle finger, I hold one wire, and then I take my thumb and my ring finger to hold the other wire and then that allows me to hold the wires close together real easy in the middle and then I can just put my soldering iron in like this solder the wires together and then there we go we got ourselves a wire and now I'm going to take my shrink right and solder it on up I'm going to lightly use the ladder on it to shrink it on up Now I'm going to trim the other ends of the wires off. Now we're going to do the same thing for the red positive, but we're going to use a high glue gun. So I'm going to get there two pieces of red wire and I'm going to strip the tips off. So I'm going to take the two extra wires and I'm going to twist the ends together. Now make sure you got enough of the inner core of the wire out so you have a lot to twist. Now I'm going to take all three wires and I'm going to twist them all together. I'm going to grab a hot glue gun and I'm going to put some hot glue on the wire. I'm going to grab some electrical tape and I'm going to tape up that wire. Now we got our wires ready for both LEDs. I'm gonna go ahead and strip the wires off both of the sets of pairs so we can get them ready. Alrighty now. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna get these LEDs. I hope you got them off your steam pump. 
So, if we look at these, I hope you can see this. Autofocus. Be my friend. There you go. See, one is shorter than the other. The shorter one is negative. Okay, now, so I'm going to do one LED with the high glue gun, and I'm going to use a solder knife for the other one. So I'm going to cut one of the black wires short on the tip of the metal so we can get it ready. And I'm going to get some shrink wrap and I'm going to slide it onto the wires. Now I'm going to add some solder paste to both wires and the little LEDs and I'm going to put some solder on all four pieces. Now I bent the negative one excessively so I could easily recognize it. So I'm just going to solder both wires to the LED. Remember the black one or your negative wire goes to the shorter LED lead. So like before, I soldered this by putting paste on both ends, adding solder to both ends, and then I do that thing with my fingers to hold them close together, and then I just tap the solder on there, it melts the solder that's already on the wires, and then it makes it really easy. And then they're just connected once they cool down. I'm going to slide the shrink wrap up onto the LEDs and I'm going to heat it up so I can shrink it. Now you should be able to grab your battery and put it in your battery holder and you should be able to see your one LED light up now. Now make sure you test it so you don't go any further. Now I'm going to take the other LED, I'm going to get a nice long piece of the metal core of the wire and I'm going to wrap it around each lead of the LED. Once it's wrapped around there nice and tight, I'm going to add some hot glue gun to keep it on there and keep it from sliding it off. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to add some electrical tape to the LED that we hot glued so we can keep the leads from touching each other and shorting out the circuit. Now I'm going to take each LED and I'm going to bend them at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to hold the LED so that the LED is in the center of the sunglass lens. And then once we got it there, I'm going to hot glue it so that it stays there. I'm 
Try to hold that there LED where you want it to stay until the hot glue gun is hard enough to hold it there. Now once you're good with that, you want to grab one of the LED eye protectors that will keep the LED light out of your eyeballs and go ahead and glue that to the back of the LED. I would suggest using a hot glue gun and then just go ahead and repeat that process for the other LED. And I also went around and glued down all the wires, gave them a little bit of hot glue gun so they won't be all over the place. Alrighty now, so your power button should work. Make sure it works. And try and get your eyes in the center as best you can. There it is, guys! Get yourself a mask! Oh, we! I'm gonna put my leather straps back on, and then we're done. You have yourselves a psycho mask from Borderland 3. Good job! All right, I just wanted to make note that even with the LED protectors, the little guards over the LEDs to keep the light out, even with the LEDs on, they're still very close to your eyes. I would not suggest wearing this for long periods of time with the lights on. I'll maybe just turn them on when you want to show off the mask for like a few minutes, but I would not keep them on all the time. All right, so that was the last part of the tutorial. I hope you're excited like I was when I finished my mask. So this is how I did it. These are all the ways I did it. I try to make it as simple as possible so that people could follow it and make the mask. Uh, I'd love to hear any feedback on things I can make better, uh, things I didn't make clear, what I could improve on. Just let me know. Give me anything you got. These tutorials are also how I did it. You don't have to follow them and do exactly the way I did. I'd love to hear any feedback on how you did it different or anything. I would love to see everyone else's mask when they make it. So if you want to post a make on Thingiverse, Post a link in the comments. Just let me know. I'd love to see what everybody makes. Next week, I'm going to make an announcement on things I'm going to do with the channel. And I'm going to show off my new project for the next line of tutorials. Also, I'm going to do a giveaway. So like and subscribe and be up to date and find out what that's about. 